Hey everybody, this is Not So Live. What is up, guys? And today, I'm here for the third episode of Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. So, let's get started. In the last episode, we cleared out that rock area, so now we can go down here. Now, let's just quick, real fast, go down here so you can see some stuff. Uh, let's get that. That. Come on. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> it's Friday. Today, the day I'm recording this, it's Friday. Good day to be out. Um, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Uh, just making a couple of changes. You can see I took away those lines. They're all kind of annoying. Yeah. So now I can uh, access these buttons a little easier. I'm not sure if I save, but I'm going to anyway. There we go. Well, let's go inside. You gotta talk this old man. So, the basis of this is simple. It's a mini game, so... I'm not gonna go through the... Yeah. So, the basically, you have to watch Luigi and also jump to get uh, crystals. You have to get 10 crystals by the end. So, you move around the flashlight with uh, the up, down, left, right keys. And you hit uh, A or B to make Mario and Luigi jump. And you need batteries constantly. So, whenever you see one of those jumping around, get them. So, you'll see uh, there are a couple of obstacles in this. There's only one kind of obstacle, really. So at certain times, Luigi will go faster than you, at other times, he'll go slower. So see, we got three now. That's, uh, battery. Four. Battery. So yeah, there's not really much to this minigame. You just gotta know what you're doing. And also, be careful of those guys. You wanna jump over them. Because, uh, you'll lose five, uh, things, I think. Now, I'm not sure what batteries are doing bouncing around in here, but, you know... Whatever. One more and we should be good. Battery. It doesn't matter if you go over the amount. It's just, you know... Oh, man, I missed that one. Crud. Better be careful here. Hoop! No! Okay. That was way too close. Just way too close. I actually legitimately could have failed there. Now we just have a bunch of extra crystals. We don't need them. We need 10 to pass through this and we're good. So that's basically, that's really the only mini game around here. Not too difficult, I know. And somehow the old man's just kind of sitting there right above us. Somehow. Mm, my heart again. Well, fellas, just about marks the last stop on the long, strange radar of my life. But I reckon your adventure has just begun. Get to it, boys. So yeah, not very hard. I'll uh, save right here. Bam. Yeah, you probably want to get these. Uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, there we go. Word up! It's the Hammer Bros. We forgot to mention one thing. We never taught you how to use hammers in battle. Ready to learn? Yep. You have to, There's, you have no choice. So, uh, the basis of hammers is pretty easy. You just... Here, I'm gonna speed through this because I know how to do this. Oh. So then, I just let it go and hit A at the right time. And you do maximum amount of damage. It's pretty simple. So now, press and hold B. And then release. And then that is counter attack. Pretty easy. That's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stop speeding through these cutscenes now because they're kind of important. Except I'm speeding through them anyway because I'm just constantly hitting A. <laughs> Whatever. Yep. Anyway, uh, let's go down here for a second. Actually, no, let's go up before we do anything, because... Uh, let's check what's here. Might as well. No harm done. Let's get that. Um, let's get that. Let's get that. Oh, it's a uh, coin block. Might as well get that. Coin blocks are always the useful things here. You In this game, again, like I've said before, get coins. Do not not get coins. See what's here on the left. Oh, I think this is the way back to Hoo Hoo Mountain. Yeah, I remember. If you go up here, oh, this is an area you can't really do anything with yet. You're gonna have to wait a while until you can uh, use this area. Anyway, let's go back. Um, yeah. So the thing is that sound takes obviously a little more um, like memory in order to you know record. So there's always that problem. Ah, oh, here's the first enemy that we have to use hammers against. Screw that. Oh, yeah, we can't do that yet. Uh, 
So let's go against this guy. So this is, uh, I think it's called a Spike P. So it's pretty easy to defend against these guys. Uh, I guess when they get close to you, you know, you hammer them. So the Sharp P. So basically you wait till the longest time until, uh, like, bam. You see how far back it went? So it's pretty simple to beat these guys. It only takes two hit, two or three hits. So eventually these guys become annoying because you just start seeing them a lot. Be, uh, even though you're like way over leveled and you can just defeat them in like without even trying. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I think the hammer bros and I think the bros attacks are a lot. No, they're not. So there are bros attacks for this too. Uh, it's pretty useful. I'll, uh, sh I'll showcase it in a later video when we get it. Pretty nice. And we get woo beans. So woo beans are used to make coffee, which sounds a little bit weird, but I'll explain it in a later video. Alright. So I might actually start skipping battles here in the video because it's kind of a pain in the butt to just watch me do a bunch of battles at once, but... You know, whatever. Fully uncut. Yep. It's all, it's all in the timing, really. This entire game, all the Mario Rolls games, every RPG game, is mostly about timing. There's a couple that I know of that aren't. Um, I was playing Final Fantasy VI on the Game Boy Advance the other day. I'm not really seeing too much time consuming. I've just started playing because I i don't really play the Final Fantasy series too all too much. Um, so, you know, just getting used to it. It's, they seem like really good games, but I don't know. I've just never shown interest in them for some reason. Hmm, maybe I'll get it to them. Who knows? So, who Mountain and Bean Bean Castle Town is down this way. Oh, here's a new enemy. Jump on this guy. So, these are new enemies uh, that are called... Wait a sec. So these newer enemies are called, uh, swarms. Swarms? I guess? So basically it's pretty easy to take them down, but yeah, you have the time, obviously. Otherwise you ain't gonna get it. Oh, no, I didn't. Actually, yeah, I'll jump on the swarm. Luckily it doesn't matter if, whether you jump on the swarm or not, so... Dang it. I'm gonna have to heal up here in a second. I don't think there's a boss battle. Oh wait, no, there might be. I'm not sure, we'll have to see. Level 8. So I'm gonna level up his HP this time. 333. Three, three. Yeah! Lucky. Alright. Let's keep going. Gotta go down this way. And right. I think down here. Yeah. Take a right. And welcome to Beam Bean Cast Town. Whoa. What the heck happened? Looks like everything's been crushed. And that poor guy. The, the town was attacked. The horror. Huh. Ow. This is disheartening. Very disheartening. But anyway, in here you can get items. So, yeah, that's what you need the coins for. I'd recommend getting quite a few items here because they are really, really nice to have, especially during boss battles. So I'm gonna couple refreshing herbs too. So these are always really useful to have. And then that woman over there is the... Well, yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, he slash she does uh, gear. So we'll get into gear a little later on. But for now, I'm going to actually heal up a second because, uh, you know, heal up. Syrup. I don't really care about that. So, up we go. So this is a uh, save right here. Um, right here is going to be the castle. Halt! You there, halt! You can't just waltz on in here. The town has just been attacked, which means the castle could be attacked at any moment. Lady Lima has instructed us not to allow anyone to enter the castle, anyone whatsoever. Having said that, if you still blah blah, I didn't actually read that. What? You are the world famous Mario? What? And you are the legendary Luigi? Uh, Luigi who? Shh, I have no idea. Dang it. Luigi's like, oh man. If you really are the Superstar Mario from the Mushroom Kingdom, then prove it. Jump. That, that jump. No mistaking it. Th this guy's really Mario? Shh, I can't be certain. Anyway, what business would you, the famous Mario and Luigi, the other guy, have in this castle? Hmm, ah, ho ho. Huh? 
Oh, I see. Gotcha. What do they want? No clue. Fail. Enough. Regardless of all that nonsense, you may not enter. Now be gone. Hey, it's Prince Peasley's uh, thing. Prince Peasley's Rose. Are you friends of the prince? Um, listen, I think maybe we have to let these guys decide. Mm, okay, taking into account the rose and your wacky story, we can allow you to enter. <laughs> that was one wacky story. Whew. And in we go. Yay. Yep, so you're gonna go straight to the throne room, which is just keep going forward. Actually, no, you wanna take a left here. What am I saying? I see a guy over here. What the heck? Well, Master Mario and Master Luigi. Hey, it's that lady from the first time. From the first, isn't that the person... What? I am Lady Lima, highest of the ladies of the court. The gatekeeper, keep, gap, 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 the gatekeepers told me of you. Are you indeed the Mario and Luigi of fame, the superstars? Yes, I can't deny that your jumping is the hallmark of the Mario and Luigi legend. Pardon me? What are you trying to tell me? Oh, do speak up. Oh, such ruckus. Speak in softer voices. Now hear me, as you saw, the town is in ruins and the castle is under strict guard. At a time like this, I cannot allow a suspicious pair such as you, you to meet the queen. As the queen's longest serving lady at the court, I must act in the interest of safety. What? What? No, what? 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 Douche. <sighs> hear my words. If you two are indeed the true Mario Bros, then you must prove it by repairing the castle's plumbing. So, we are reduced to the job of plumbers. Once more, yay. Now, as I mentioned before, many of the enemies that you see will have super forms. So this, in case, is a super fly guy. So they go faster, they have uh, much more attack. So as you can see, um, super fly. So you just want to take them down pretty quickly. They're great for XP farming, though. Especially at the lower levels. Because they're pretty much all around here. Jump. There we go. That's pretty much it. And then the oh, there's one more enemy in here. Yeah, spinies. Like, legitimate spinies. These are actual spinies from the games. Well, most of them, anyway. So, obviously, you have to use hammers against these guys in order to defeat them. So, when they do that, you want to go against them and just hit them with the hammer. Pretty simple. Um, yep. Yeah. These are a little more powerful than the uh, super flies, so it's going to take a little longer for you to beat them. Although, if you know your attacks, you should be pretty good. Taken out. There we go. Oh, lucky 12. That's good. We should be leveling up pretty soon. There we go. Defeat this guy. Come on. Yep. Jump! There we go. You gotta time it like, perfectly, because they just... Yeah, see? Sometimes they stop and go, and then sometimes they just go and go at you. It's, it sort of sucks, but, you know. Anyway, let's take this guy out. 13 damage. I'm getting a lot of luckies here. Let's get this guy over here. Oh, sorry. I sped up the thing for there for a second. Sorry about that. Um... So, uh, if you notice, I'm not actually speeding up the video, I'm rather speeding up the game itself. So, when I uh, hit a certain key, it speeds up the game by 500%. So, I'm not I'm gonna, not going to do that anymore, because I'd rather watch all the cutscenes, because it's actually sort of interesting. And that's it for that, and there's one more up here. Let's take that down, and that. Oh, that somehow does that, and it opens up to the next area. Pretty simple. Go inside. Fly guy. I, I, I just enjoy calling them fly guys. I'm not really sure why. Anyway. Ah, what a beautiful day in Minnesota it is. It's only about, like, 50 degrees, true, but, you know, I mean, it's pretty good. It's supposed to be 70 by Sunday, I think, in the area. I'm, I'm living in the um, outer Twin Cities, so, you know, see how that goes. It's Friday, after all. Best day of the week. Let's see, where is these? I think what I'll do first is I'll uh, take care of these things first, and then only after will I... Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Anyway, I'll take care of uh, these plugs first, and then, then I'll do things. Okay, so right here you need to spin, and it does that, and it opens that up. So you need to plug in those two. So, 
that's pretty much it. It's not very difficult. Uh, let's take that out. And if I can... Uh, yep, dodge. There we go. Now I'll defeat all these enemies. I'll just uh, cut ahead to that. Actually, no, I won't. Because I want you guys to see everything I'm doing. Because since this is going to be a playthrough that's faster than Leon, that means I gotta keep all the battles in no matter how, how like, rep repeated they are. Because, you know, yeah. Oh, crap. Dang it. Dang it, I messed that up, too. I'm going to go ahead and uh, heal up Mario here. Mushrooms are really essential in the later areas of the game because there's one a certain area which I hate the most, and it sucks. This is horrible. But we will see. Oh, dang, I missed that. Anyway. So about 15, 16 minutes have gone by now. So this episode will probably run 30 minutes, give or take. Uh, that's it for that guy. One of the others. Oh, there's a fly guy over there. I'll, uh... Oh. There we go. Sorry. I got distracted for a second there. My birds are still in the background. Yeah, those birds are going to be quite a while. I really shouldn't have any background noise, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, see, you can just hear them. Just start talking. But what? I have no clue because I do not speak bird. But if I did... Oh, if I did. You know. Weird. Weirdness would ensue. Yep. You know, I saw this game as a kid. I played this back in 2010, I believe, when I first uh, discovered emulators. They're pretty cool. I mean... I borrowed my friend's game on the actual Game Boy a long, long time ago, and I thought it was pretty fun, but that was in, like, 2007. So, um, you know, quite a while ago. But then I got, uh, started playing again last year, I think, uh, when Leon was doing his, um, playthrough of it. And I got interested, and, I, you know, I was deciding to do a series on it for quite a while, actually, but it didn't really cross my mind, and since I have really nothing new going on, um... I thought to myself, well, why not? You know. Nope. Oh. Yes, yeah, so currently I have uh, defeated every game in this entire series, currently. I've defeated Superstar Saga three times. I've defeated Dream Team once. I've defeated uh, Bowser's, Bowser's Inside Story at least four times. And I've beaten Partners in Time three times, I think? Yeah, I, I don't really don't have much to do a lot of the days, so, you know, whatever works. Dang it. Oh, man, I really love this music. Uh, you know, I think that's it for the enemies in this room. Nope, there's one more. No, there's two more. You know, it shouldn't take too long. Eight damage when hit, not bad. So, um, you're thinking, the Turgons, uh, you know, I'm still thinking about it, but what I'm thinking of doing is doing a playthrough, um, uh, I'm gonna hopefully get an HD PVR pretty soon, so I'm gonna start doing some Call of Duty gameplay. Do not jump. So, hopefully, maybe in the next year I'll get an HD PVR. Of course, one year isn't as pretty long time, but, you know, you never know, I might get one for Christmas or something. We'll see. Um... One more guy. These are great for experience. I would recommend hitting all of these guys. If you guys are playing along with me, congratulations. You're playing along with me. Great. That's. I'm not really sure how to respond to that, but, you know, good. You know, what I understood is the background. You see there's a little area right there in the pipe that's split. So, why don't we have to fix that? I never understood that. Yeah. Whatever works, I guess. I think that's all of the guys for here, so let's keep moving. So, uh, you, I think you're supposed to go... Yeah, I guess they beat this guy. Whatever. Man, this is... Half of this is battle so far, so, you know. It's not too bad, I guess. I'll just use Splash Bros on this guy. Alright. Take him out. Bounce Bros. So you hit A. B, A, B. So you can't actually get the other guy, but... So you can attack two enemies at once, which is always really cool. 
and helpful, of course. So 26 damage is actually quite a lot for the level I'm at, so you know, it's, it's good, it's good. Now that when you get the hammer bros attacks, those things are just overpowered for quite a while. It's really easy to defeat enemies, it only takes like one try. But you have to know what you're doing in order to get it right. Um... Oh, yep, that is a fake one. I shouldn't have done that. Whatever. Um, so in the future, I'm thinking of doing a Terraria Let's Play. I'm not quite sure, though. Um, as kind of a survival series for my channel. I'm not quite sure yet, because I'm not, like, totally sure of the, all the fundamentals of Terraria. How to cr I'm not sure exactly how to craft everything, so I'm kind of going through it right now. But you never know, I might do one. Oh, I'm going to heal Mario, because he is really weak, and one hint will take him out. The real? Yeah, one mushroom seems like quite a lot right now, but later on, believe me, it feels puny. It's like, 20 HP is like nothing. It's kind of interesting how the game progresses, how good you get at it. So obviously this place is useless. Oh, oh man, he's slandering to me. That sucks. Nope, well, hopefully I don't die on this one. Because Luigi's pretty low on health. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. I like what I'm seeing. Take him out. Get the old hammer. Bam. So the whole, the farther you hold it back, uh, the more, I guess, thing you have. So, uh, but there's something wrong that happens. So if you hold it back too long, I actually didn't do that there. But here, I'll show you here. If you hold it back too long, it drops and he just hits him with a stick, which is stupid because sticks are useless. Um, so anyway, you want to be really careful about how you do that. There you go. So anyway, I get some items here. Pretty useful. Target area is useful. I guess as I go along, I'll defeat the enemy so I doesn't like isn't so time consuming. There we go. I should probably heal up Luigi on this turn. Anyway, come on. There we go. I, th I thought he wasn't gonna be close enough. Before we we could only do like two HP per hit, so it would take forever to beat these guys. It would take like I don't know five turns or something. As for spinies, we couldn't in the first place because they have spikes, and let's see, we don't have hammers. You know, there's a certain boss coming up pretty soon, uh, probably in the next two episodes or so, that is going to be pretty tough. I mean, it's a pretty tough boss. I cannot say. Uh, the first time I tried it, it took me at least 14 or 15 tries last year sometime. It was tough. I got it. It was pretty tough. Actually, no, I'm going to upgrade my power here because I have not done that in a little while. Oh, dude, that's alright. I thought I was going to land four for a second there. <clears throat> and Luigi levels up, too. That's good. Let's get him leveled up. So this time, I'm going to get his BP leveled up because BP is awesome. Two's pretty good. Alright, so I think we're supposed to go down here. Nope. Uh, let's see, where are you supposed to go? Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, you're supposed to go down here. So right, actually, check that. You're supposed to take a right. Yeah, right here. So you have to go up here, and this is like a little puzzle you have to do. So I'm always a little bit iffy on how I can do it, but I'll give it a shot. So I think it's this one, this one, this one, and this one? No. Nope. Try again. So I was pretty close that time. Come on, there we go. Let's try this again. Alright, so do that. Do this. Uh, I think you're supposed to do this. Nope. Oh, actually. Nah, you gotta do all four of them. Alright. Let's try this again. So that one, let's try this one. This one, and this one. Dang it. I'll try the other one this time. So there's only, I think, four possible patterns you can use? No, no, there's more than that. I don't know. We'll see. So do this one, this one, and then this one. Yep, that was it. So yeah, I just plop more moves up because of the water. So I'll go up here. 
So yeah, not much here. Uh, mushroom. Other mushroom. And yeah, you want to spin this in order to continue on because you have to plug all those things. Oh, fail. Sorry about that. Alright. Alright, so you want to go back down. Nope. Oh. Probably should switch back. There we go. So now we go back simply and uh, hammer all those down. Pretty easy. So, hammer them down. And I think there's only two, yeah. That's it for that. Okay, so there's a little more here. This is actually the final area. This is right here. Boom. That opens that up, and opens that up. So, oh! What the? Wasn't she already up there? She's the one who dropped us in here! Oh, thank the stars. You saved me, you Arc Souls. C could you be the Mario Brothers from the Mushroom Kingdom? What are the Mario Brothers doing in a place like this? What, you claim I dropped the pair of you down here? And that I told you to fix the plumbing? Most perplexing. Why, we are attacked by Cacalera and her fiends and have been stuck here ever since. Hmm, perhaps the Lady Lama you encountered was... Okay. What the heck is that? Whoa. Foolish Mario Brothers! You've completely and pathetically fallen into my trap. Repairing the plumbing is the key to disabling the Beanstar security system. Hey, it's Fawful. Cacaletta, it's time to hurrying time. We must take the Beanstar and fastly run away from this place. Ah, so that was Cacaletta the entire time. Huh. At, la at last, at long last, we have the position both the Beanstar and Peach's voice. That sucks. That thing that can grant all desires, the Beanstar. We have always remained to this, protecting the Beanstar, keeping out of evil hands. There's no doubt about it, Cacaletta must be after the Beanstar. Oh no. Okay, well. Uh, right here, there's a save block I saw, so I'm gonna go ahead and save right there. Bam. Wow, two hours have gone by exactly since we started this. It's pretty good. I'm chop- I'm not actually chopping these up, I'm recording these on different days. Um. Anyway, let's go in here. Aw, oh, we're too late, the Beanstar. Yeah! The Beanstar and Princess Peach's voice are already mine! Once we awaken the Beanstar with the Princess Peach's voice, this riddle will be Kekaletta's snack cake. Say, Mario boys, haven't you bothered to pay a visit, a visit to your close Queen Bean? I thought you had better manners, wouldn't you agree, Queen Bean? What the, that's... That's Queen Bean! What the... And this, my friends, is the boss of this area! Queen Bean, one of the most... She is just overpowered. This, this boss is overpowered. So, first thing you're gonna do is take out her arms. Yes, you heard me. Take out her arms! This is necessary in order to make her vulnerable. Um... So, once you do it well enough, so this is our ultimate attack. It goes pretty slow, so you can jump over it pretty easily. So, uh, yeah, you want to keep jumping on her arms till they go like that. So, you want to get both her arms like that. You don't want to jump on her head yet, because... Oh. Because uh, that'll just hurt you because of recoil damage. Well, not recoil damage, just that you fail. So, as you can see, that falls off. But now she makes minions. So, just don't remember, don't jump on the... Yep, just like I did. She makes beanies. So this is like a really annoying attack. She can only have three at a time though, so that's good. So, now mainly you're going to want to focus on her. Scre uh, the beanies aren't much of a problem. They're just kind of an annoyance, really. Oh, fail. Ah, <laughs> one HP. Smooth. Anyway, yeah, she can only have three beanies at a time. So that's not too much of a problem, I guess. See, uh, now they just bounce right past. Alright, so basically you want to keep spl uh, Splash Brosing and Bounce Brosing her. Oh, that was a fail on my part. But still 10 HP, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's basically all. That's it to this boss fight. Not much else to do there. Oh, fail. You can take down the beanies while you're at it, I guess. It doesn't really matter. So you can see when I jump off of them, they don't really do anything now. They just kind of keep going. It's uh, overall pretty easy boss fight if you know what you're doing. I was really confused at first at what to do, but then I uh, like, uh, wait, you're supposed to aim at her arms. So, yeah. It's truthfully not that hard. Although my timing on my bros attack isn't as good as it used to be. 
I still never understood why Leon's, like, uh, when he was doing boss battles, it took him, like, 20 or 15 to 20 minutes per boss battle. But, like, for me, it's, like, 5 minutes tops. It's so weird. So, yeah, she gets her arm back, and then she uses her, uh, Hulk smash attack, I guess you can call it. And that kills her beanies instantly, so, you know, it's not much of a problem. So you probably don't want to waste your uh, regular moves on this. Just go for the jumps. Should be enough. So yeah, she does regen uh, her arms. She doesn't regen her health, thankfully. There, I think there's one boss who does that. But not yet. Um, yep, yeah, let's keep going. It's a pretty easy boss, truthfully. Um, like here, she, so she does a one-arm Hulk smash, which goes faster, but it does less damage. So, you know, you just got another timing. You're good. Anyway, that's, this is probably going to take out her arm. Oh, I actually didn't. Oh, man, I didn't uh, block in time. And right, I'm going to heal up Mario here. Alright. And with Luigi, I'll take out her other arm. And that should be it for that. She's going to throw our beans at us. Beans. So, yeah, I'm thinking each area normally takes about 30 minutes to finish off. So, I think I'll do like 30, 40 minutes to finish off one area. So I think I'll be doing like one episode per area, I think, is that is how it's going to go. Because as you can see, we're already at the boss, and it's only been 31 minutes. So it doesn't really matter. The beans can hit you, by the way, and they do damage. Oh, that was pointless. I'm going to miss that, because that was stupid. So let's go for that. There we go, 17. I'm going to have to heal up. Um, yep, she just keeps doing her beat. This is the only attack she can do, um, when she's in the, for when she's in a weak state. So, you know, I'm gonna have to, uh, oh, not, 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 nuts. Nuts are really useful in the future, so I don't use them. I have 15 syrups, that's good. Anyway, so syrup jars obviously heal you up. I'm gonna hammer her. Only one damage, really only jumping attacks work for this boss. Oop, fail. Jump. There we go. So she regains her arms. Hulk smash! So this does massive amounts of damage. 10 or 20 damage, I think. So I would not recommend really going uh, to that. That was a stupid idea. There we go. So yeah, you can uh, actually bros attack her hands, but I just recommend jumping on them. Uh, because, you know, it's just, it doesn't waste as much. Okay, yeah, that's what happens when you jump on a crown. I suck at aiming. Holy crap, that's an ultimate. See, she has six damage. That's actually quite a lot. So you want to be careful when you do that. Ooh, 17. There we go. Oh, there we go. So that's how you counterattack against her when she does that attack. You got to be really careful, because she does it quite quickly. Alright, so we're almost done, I think. Jump! Ah, I missed it. It's alright, it's alright. We're almost done with this boss battle, anyway. Lose her crown, and she goes for the bean tag. Aw, oh, man. Alright, so I'm out of bros attacks for this one. So, actually, no, I'll just heal up for this turn. She's not gonna, I think, three turns, I think it is? Or maybe four. Possibly five. I'm not really sure how many turns it takes for her to regain her strength. But I think we'll take her down this one. Alright. So she'll send out some more bean minions. Anyway, shouldn't take too long. The more beans she sends out, the I think the less HP she has. So let's keep going. Bam. And that's it. That's the boss. Pretty easy. Oh, I still gotta take out the beans, of course. Uh, of course. So that's kind of a nuisance to take them out at the end, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, this should jump, should just take them out. 21 damage. More than enough. That's it! So we get some HP, and I... Oh, we didn't level up, huh. What the? Oh no, Cacolette a Force Queen be being to eat a belly black worm. That's what turned her into this. Our fair kingdom is doomed. Doomed. How will we ever return Queen Bean to normal? What's that you say? The Mario Bros. will do something about it? What can you possibly mean? You speak of the impossible. 
Why, there is no known way to spit out an ingested belly black. Well, except there is that one way, le that last resort. It isn't pretty, though. She may be able to spit it up if she drank the legendary Chocola Reserve from Chocola Woods. Chucklehuck Woods. The Chocola Cola. You will go to Chucklehuck Woods? You'll find the Chocola Reserve? Well, if you're going to make us bold proclamations, I suppose you have no choice but to rely on you. Take this bean bean brooch. Broke? Brooch? I'm not really sure how to say that. Broke, I think. And head southwest from the castle towards Chateau de Chucklehuck. If you find the Chocola Reserve hidden deep in the woods, Chucklehuck Woods, our queen may yet recover. So you got the broke. Keep going. Uh, let's go outside. Oh, I don't know what's out there. Might as well get that. This is a random empty room. I'm not really sure what this entire this room is for, except on this block. So I'm gonna take a right, I think. Yep. And down. We should be out. I'm gonna and save right here and right. Oh wait, wait, Mario, Luigi. Lady Lamb has asked that you all to take this along with you. She gives you a bean badge. That thing is a badge. It'll equip you. You'll be a little strong in the battle. Different badges, different effects. So for now, if you get the badge, make sure you equip it. To equip it, press select and open your suitcase. So this is a little tutorial. Select this icon. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. I did. And click that. Hit A, and you're done. Now you're all set. Good luck and be careful. Oh, well, sorry, Luigi, but if you want your badge, you'll have to go buy one at the store. They're so mean to Luigi! Why? Why? Why, Luigi? He's done nothing wrong. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually save right here. Alright, so. Guys, I think that's it for this episode. We got past one entire area, and I think we're good for the day. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Mario & Luigi Superstar Cycle. Let's do this way faster than Lee, and I'll see you all later. Bye. Goodbye, bye, 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 bye. Bye.